Welcome to this video tutorial where I'm going to show you how I am auto blogging with Open Router AI, which allows me to use practically any language model within my application. If you watched any of my previous videos, I made a custom AI content copywriter that works within Google Sheets. But previously, I was only using GPT 40 Mini. But now with Open Router, I can easily use any models from Anthropic, from Google, Gem from Google, for example. Let's try Gemini here. And I've got a blog type, how to, additional information. I can just select and write a blog outline right away. And this is using Gemini 1.5 Flash. I don't have an account with Gemini. I don't, and I don't know how to integrate it into an application. But with the help of Open Router, I only need one API key, I only need one, one script to insert into my application, and that is it. I'm gonna show you how you can set up and how you can use this incredible tool. If you don't know me, my name is Nico. I run an online community, the AI Ranking Hub. There is a free community and a premium community. The free community is just a way for you to get started with all things AI powered search engine optimization. We help you and we teach you how to optimize your SEO with the help of all these AI tools, as well as a little automation. We have a classroom section that teaches you how to get started, the AI powered SEO Kickstarter, and with we have some even some content automation. All the assets that I'll show you today, you'll be able to find for free in the AI Free Ranking community and premium assets and premium sessions with myself are available in the premium community, obviously. So what is Open Router and what does it allow you to do? Well, these days it seems like there's a single, there's a brand new language model coming out every single day, whether that's open source, free, or you have to pay for it. It's all well and good and you want to test out which language model is best for you. But unfortunately, it's very hard to access them all, particularly if you're not very knowledgeable when it comes to coding. And open source AI models are fantastic, but they tend to often be very large, but at least a couple of gigabytes to be able to use. And you also need some decent hardware to be able to run these things. So if I want to test a brand new open source model, I need to download everything. I need to know how to do that and set it up in my system, which if you can do that, that's all fine and well, but I don't want to install a brand new language model every time I want to try it in my computer. Instead, Open Router allows you to test any single model for a very small price, whether it's free, whether it's open source or paid, which I think is fantastic. And this kind of opens you up to use so many language models extremely easy. So once you make an account and you do need to add some credits, but it's a pay as you go kind of thing, which I really love. You can see here in my account, I've got some credits. I have about $4 and 50 cents. I've been using it for a couple of hours now and I really, really love it. I'll leave a link in the video description below for you to sign up to open router and I can test any single model practically. For example, if I want to test the new model from Llama 3.2, I can just select it and I can start chatting to it right away. And I can ask it, what are you? And see the capabilities of Llama 3.2. Let's see, uh, let's browse more models. If I want to search anything from Gemini, I can filter and let's do the Gemini flash. I can chat to it as well and ask it, what are you? I'm a large language model trained by Google, nice and simple. Now that's all well and good, but one of the best things that I like about this, if you go to the menu and you click on chat, you can start now chatting with a few models at the same time. For example, they've selected the flagship models and grouped them together so you can chat now with Claw 3.5 Sonnet, O1 Preview from OpenAI and Gemini Pro 1.5 from Google. And you can ask them the same question at the same time and see how they answer. Let's ask all three of them the classic question of strawberry test, how many R's in the word strawberry? And I click that, that's just a predefined chat there. You can see that they're all giving me their answer here. Claude and Gemini Pro have given me the incorrect answer, which is there are two R's in the word strawberry where, when there are clearly three. But O1 Preview has got the correct answer and telling me there are actually three R's in the word strawberry. So for more complex things, maybe, O1 preview is your best way to go. A really great way to test all these AI tools and find out which one is the right one for you. 
They make it very simple to integrate, like I have, for example, in my custom AI content copywriter by doing everything with one API key. So you create an API key once you've got an account, you name it and they'll give you that API key. And then to be able to integrate it into anything, you can do this with TypeScript, Python, Ruby, Shell, and they give you the code to do that. It makes it extremely easy. Mind you, I don't know how to code. I just gave all this information, including this, and I told OpenAI's 1.0 Mini that I want to integrate this stuff into my Google Sheet, and it did that for me. For now, instead of just having to write with GPT-0 GPT Mini, which is fine, I can choose the model. For example, let me take you through my little custom content copywriter, which you can have access to in the free community. Let's say how to train a cat, the model that I wanna use for this. Let's use Claude Sonnet and the what type it's going to be. I want it to be an informational type blog, additional information. We are writing for cat owners in Melbourne, not dog owners this time. And I'll click the approval status as approved. And now I've got this little tool up here that you probably won't have if you don't have this app script. And the app script in the back end looks like this. This allows me to call all of these models from Open Router with some really cool uh, prompts in the back end. I go back here, blog outline, I click my button, SEO tools, and I'm gonna generate the blog outline first, and it's using Anthropic's Claude 3.5 Sonnet to do so. The interesting thing here is I can then maybe select the same thing, but with a different model and see which one I like best. So now that I've got my blog outline, I can change it if I want to. Let's say I'm happy with that outline. I wanna put some internal links there. We're gonna pretend that we're writing for this random website here. And I'm gonna add some external links from high quality sources like the British Psychology Society. I'm assuming that's pretty high quality. Now that I've got those two, I'm going to go to SEO tools and write, generate the full blog post. This is doing a couple of things in the back end. This is generating a Google Drive folder. Within that folder, it's creating a Google Doc, and within that document, it's placing the blog post that it's writing with all this additional information, as the blog outline, the additional info, what type of blog we're writing, yada, yada. And now it's using Claude to do that instead of GPT-40 Mini, which was the previous version that I generated here. In a second, I'm gonna see a blog post link here. Boom, there's my blog post. I can click it through now, and I have my blog post created by Claude. Great, and it's even given me the, the links interlinked within the blog. So how would this look like? Well, let's go to a HTML preview. And there is my blog post here. It's linking to the right sources as well. So Claude really understands the assignment when it comes to content copywriting. I'm gonna go back here. I'm going to generate some prompts for my images. And if I am happy with those image prompts, I'm going to now generate the images. That being said, the images are still being generated by DALI 3. You can technically integrate something like Flux or any other image generation model into this. A good tip here is to add all the code that you're gonna have access to if you join the free community. Give that to GPT-10 Mini and tell it that you wanna add the code from something like Flux or your favorite image generation model and then give it the instructions that are provided usually by the image generation models in their documentation and it should do that for you. That's the beautiful thing about these really smart models now that they can problem solve pretty well. So now I've even got my images for my blog post, and if I make them larger, you can see what they look like, which is perfect. A cat and a cat, which is fantastic. I can generate, generate alt tags for those images as well, something that often gets missed out when it comes to image SEO. I can run the script, alt tag generated successfully, and finally I can create the meta tag for the blog. All that with Claude Sonnet 3.5. And if I want to, I can, the next one I can generate with OpenAI, anything from Anthropic, Meta, Google, anything like that. It's really cool functionality. I really like the way they've done this. And if you wanna see how much that costed, you just go to activity and it'll tell you as well, everything here, well, I called it a couple of times, so that's what, one cent, uh, 
let's see BRS GPT for O Mini to add everything up so we can find out how much that costed altogether. It was about five cents, which means to write the outline, to write the entire blog post, to make the images and to do everything else cost me around five cents, which makes things pretty accessible if you ask me. Again, I'll leave all of the links to what I talked about in the video descriptions below. If you want assets, if you want to be able to test this out, your own AI content copywriter, and now you can try any model, you can just access everything in the AI ranking community. I'll leave this version, the simple version in the free community. And within the premium community, we've got a version of this that includes perplexity research so that the model makes the blog post with a lot more better information. And we're gonna start adding functionalities like creating the Facebook post for it, and even things like your Google My Business posts so that your local SEO is up to date as well. If you like this video, give me a little subscribe and a like, and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. Cheers.